A man recalls his life in the graveyard. I have nothing personal against graveyards. I take the air and wind. Preferably even smoke corpses. I do not find it unpleasant. A trifle on the sweet side, perhaps. Better than the living. Their feet, teeth, armpits. I wrote mine a long time ago. I still like it, moderately. No worse than my other writings. But on less melancholy matters. When my father died, I had to leave the house. He was a strange man. He liked the feeling of me being under his roof. Perhaps he pitied me. Or not. Maybe he wanted to protect me. The man meets his future wife, Lulu. To pass on to less melancholy matters, the girl I was going to hook up with was Lulu. I met her on a bench. she do is sing. Her voice wasn't really unpleasant, but it was just slightly out of tune. She was really tenacious, playing back day after day, seeking me. The next day it was raining. Uh, I was hoping she wouldn't show up. Long again. Are you gonna disturb me every evening? I disturb you? I yeah. thought this was cool. Yeah, you disturb me. I stretch out with you here. So why do you need to stretch out? The mistake one makes is to talk to people. I did it again. I played with your heart. What's wrong? You only put your feet on my knees. It's okay. Oops, I did it again. I played with I considered kicking her. Man is at the mercy of an erection. You can smell a woman a mile away. And they wonder, how on earth can you spot me from there? One is not in control anymore. And it's excruciatingly painful. In the end, I told her that I had enough. And she disturbed me. She still does. So you don't want me to come anymore? It's incredible the way they repeat what you've just said to them. It's as if they risk sticks and fire and believing their ears. You just come at an odd time. What's the odd time? Once in a week, once in ten days, once in two weeks. <laughs> the next day I abandoned the bench. And that was the first day in my life that I had to deal with the feelings of love. Yes, I loved her. But love brings out the worst in man. All my thoughts are of Lulu. I'm tired of that name. I think I'll give her another. Something like Anna. I thought of Anna in long, long sessions. Maybe up to an hour at most. I guess that's just my way of loving. I decided to return to the bench to end this obsession. Interest you have in pursuing? I don't know. Can you at least tell me? I can't. Tears came to my eyes 
I've always slept freely without the least benefit to myself. So recently. As for her, I might as well never laid eyes on her before. Is it on my account you came? Maybe. Well, here I am. Here we are. I long to be gone for it to be over. But to be on the safe side, I asked her to sing me a song. I love you, Mr. Man. I know you love me too, but you're just so sad. I love you, you love me. This bench is my love machine. I love you. I left for good, full of doubt. Some weeks later, even more dead than alive than usual, I returned to the bench. She wasn't there, but then she was. So, did you come every evening? Only the odd time. to say something. I have a room, two rooms in the kitchen actually. Two rooms? Yeah. Adjacent? Separated by the kitchen. Why didn't you tell me before? This was so out of character for me. I didn't feel at ease with her at all. But at least free to think of something else besides her.